Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is going to be Venus and Scorp. Venus and Scorp, Venus and Scorp, now until like the 20th. But there's something with Memorial Day weekend too. I can't figure out if it's like we're going to, I don't know, I can't figure out what it is. I, I mean, I know it's like a weekend where you get together with friends and family, a, a celebration, but I, I feel like this is linked, it's going to go to the 20th, but like whatever's happening, I, I just feel like there's, there's like refreshing energy for Memorial Day weekend, okay? So we'll read on that as it gets closer. So, Scorps, Venus, and Scorpio. I'm going to pull the cards and then I'll explain. Venus and Scorp. Something sticky with you, or heavy, <clears throat> justice, you, you definitely don't want to fight, all right, um, you got a beautiful journey, this is, um, king of fire, and at the bottom of the deck, the four of fire, justice, Eight of fire, king of fire. I don't know if you're waiting on a message, but, um, or this person's thinking about messaging you. They're looking at you like you got a lot of balance. You're grounded. You don't want to argue. You don't want to fight. This is the first read that I felt both energies like that. Like, different energies came in different reads, but this is, um, this is different. You guys' energy seems to be a little entwined. But this is for Scorp. Venus and Scorp, please. Venus and Scorp. And then I'm going to break it down for you. Normally I know I break things down right here, but I'm doing it a little differently. Someone's got a lot of love for this woman. And this woman just wants, you know, just wants something fair. Like something, I can't explain it yet. We got to stay for you to love, so it's like... It's like they want to open that hat, but like, so it's like, my, it's like a new love. A new person has sturdy romantic feelings. I don't know if you're going back and forth with somebody, but I mean, man, did they, they grip, did this person that you're messaging back and forth, man, they, they, they pull at your hat strings, okay? But it's like, this chick right here, which, you know, I don't know who's who right now in the Scorpio, because I feel both of you, but it's like. I don't know. I don't know if it if it's safe. You know, because it's like I feel like you just want simple, and and it's like I don't know what you must have went through. You know, to to be like, can I trust this? It, it, that's what it is. Like, can it's like my scorps are wondering whether or not they can trust this, and it's like, but now see this person. Holy shit. This is now this person's trying to stay optimistic, okay? And at the bottom of the deck, we got retreat. But it's like, look at how they're looking at each other right here. And then this one, it's the same thing. It's like you guys are looking at each other. It's like you're both in this energy. So who, whomever my scorps are dealing with, you know, you could be dealing with um, someone that's got strong Libra or strong, Le I mean, strong Libra, strong Leo, okay? Um, but it's like, you guys are entwined and it's like, it, it feels like new love and it, it must be fresh. But like the feminine energy is like, she don't, she don't want to fight, but she wants something. I don't know what it is, but at the same time, it's like, it's like open your heart to receive what it is you're probably seeking. Now that it looks like you got somebody doing that with you, whether it's new or it's old new, it's like you're going back and forth messaging and it's like... It's like the feminine energy, it doesn't, doesn't know what to do. She definitely doesn't want to fight though. The sword's down. Tell me about justice. <clears throat> the sun. So it's like you could be dealing with a strong Leo, but it's like his growth, his, his clarity. It's, it's supposed to be the happiest stuck in the card. And it's like, to me, it's like, it's like whatever has went down, or what is going down is it, is comic, but like it's like 
it's, it's okay. Like there's growth there. It's the happiest card in the deck. And again, another Leo. Okay. So it's like this masculine energy you're dealing with. It's like they, they're going to they're gonna show love and compassion. Because that's a Leo too. You know, and the feminine energy is like, I, I think you're aware that there, there can be growth. But like, well, it's not even a but. It's just, it might be hard for you to share compassion or, or give compassion to somebody. But not because it's scary. It'd be scary for you. Okay. Um, tell me about this King of Wands. But in between is the eight of is the eight of wands. So it's like there's definitely a journey. There's or text messages between the two of you. I write the moon. So you they could be they could be a Pisces. You know. It's just unknown. Even it's it's unknown how you're gonna react. Cause the Queen of Cups is reversed. Like Will she be emotional? Will she not be emotional? It, it's something like that. Like, will she put the time and effort in? Because it's like, if she's reversed, this person's like, do does do are they compassion? Do do they do they have compassion for me anymore? Like, it, it's like that, you know. Like, it's that type of energy. You must not be talking to somebody, or you just started talking again. But your energies are definitely entwined. Tell me it's safe, safe for you to love. So it's like this is the feminine. That's like, can I give that compassion? Like, can I can I love? Like, you know, with the death card. So it's like you might be down with a strong cap too. But it's like, it's rebirth. It's like you got to wipe the slate clean in order to start fresh. Because it's like you're feeling those feelings. Or it's you got someone new coming at you or there's somebody already here too. Could be two people. But, like, it just feels new. It's what I'm feeling. is like, it's, tell me about new love. It's like, it's just feeling new. Because this is linked. Tower. It's a tower moment. And the two of you are going to do it. Somebody's out of the picture if there's more than one. But I don't look at it as being more than one person. I think just this is, like, and the tower is linked to two of you. The two of you get this tower moment. It's, it's the two of you that need to rebuild. Okay, and it's like something was dead, resurrected, coming back around, and it's like you you have an opportunity to rebuild. Tell me about staying optimistic. And this is divine. All right, so it's like Ace of Fire, Ace of Wands. With the seven of pence at the bottom of the deck. So it, it's like. There's. An, but it, Ace of Wands reversed. But they want it upright. And with the with the seven of pence. With the king of coin. So it. This person's worried that you don't feel that compassion towards them anymore. Or they're worried that the, the passion is gone. But they're staying optimistic. They're, they're going to come towards you. They're going to message you. Because that's what's on their mind right now. Tell me about this Eight of Wands. This says, I don't know who's who, all right? So somebody was anxious. Somebody was worried about texting, all right? But not no more. Sleeping better. Not as nervous, okay? Somebody was, you know, confronting their demons. Let's find out your lesson. Let's find out what current energy you're in for a lesson. Venus and Scorp, please. Venus and Scorp. Loneliness. All right. Yeah, you're never alone. Somebody was obviously feeling really alone, whether it's you or this other person. And at the bottom of the deck, you got adversity. All right. So it's like you definitely went through a challenge. All right. But that's that hard challenge that you went through, it, it's, it taught you. It, it taught you a lesson, and, and it has uh, been rough. Let's see what's next for Scorps. So it's like... Empty. 
and and it's like the two of you right now. I don't know whose energy is who, but you're linked to Scorp. So I don't know if it's the masculine that you know feels lonely, left out, or that it's or vice versa, or you feel lonely and left out. Like it, it's linked to the two of you right now. So again, like you guys' energy are intertwined. So it's like I don't know if you both feel lonely or not. Like, but I just feel like. I feel like it's not like really a lonely, like, it's so weird for me. Explain lonely to me, please. Explain lonely. Simple, simple, please, simple. I mean, that could be the dark side too, or the scorp, you know? But explain lonely, please, clarify lonely. See, you or this other person are mirroring energy. Regret. So if somebody's got regret, you know, can't change something that went down in the past, then we got karma here, which is fear. All right, but remembering that there's love on the board and you got to be in the in, in that energy of love. So it's like, you two obviously know each other, okay? And, you know, this is somebody misses you. They, they, they miss you. Your touch, your sense, it, it's something like that. They miss that passion that that's apparently not there, and it's like hash, hash lesson learnt. Okay, but it looks like it is learnt. It's in the process of being learnt. Okay, because this is this is happening, coming in, messaging. Okay, so um, what's next for Scorp? Well, that flew out. The High Priestess. All right, listening to your intuition, having patience, okay? Um, did I feel that somewhere? No, oh, that was in the previous read. I feel like they're linked, though. What did I just do before you? Libra. And Libra's right here, too. Libra, Leo, Pisces, Cap, Scorp. Um... The High Priestess is always is something like in the Book of Destiny too, because she's looking up at Source. It's like it's already written in the book. Like it's whatever you had to go through or endure. It's like that's it. The book's open. It's no longer closed. Like it's it's gonna be confronted. Listen to your intuition. It's at the bottom of the deck. <clears throat> Two of there. Unable to, to, to make a decision, a, st a stalemate, pretending there's no problem. Something in this situation is not being confronted. It's like I think you're going to talk and, and somebody doesn't want to confront a certain situation. Like, hey, can we just dismiss it? Because it's like you don't want to talk about it, but don't don't you dare. This is what's next. You know, and it's like carefully weigh out decisions too with justice being here before you act. So it's like don't, you know, it's like Ooh, there's an ant. I just put it on the floor. He just came out of nowhere. You're going to have to make a decision, but somebody's pretending that there's, there's not a problem, and there is. So it's like, don't you dare bypass something. You make sure you talk about what needs to be talked about, because the high priestess can talk about hidden stuff, too. Somebody's just trying to sweep something under the rug. Someone's trying to bypass something, and I don't know if it's you or this other person, because you guys' energy right now is entwined. Tell me about the toy, yeah. So be careful. But I think the feminine energy most definitely will because they're coming in as Libra energy, okay? So it's like they just want fair and just anyway. It's almost like, hey, I, I, I just want the truth and I want and I want something simple, you know? So it's like the four of pence. So whatever this is, whoever's pretending is not a problem, I mean, it's, it's, it's slowly being worked on, okay? Because they're slowly letting go. It's like they know, okay? Tell me about the two, the high priestess. But you got two twos next to each other, which is a master number, 22, and it's definitely divine, okay? Um, yeah, five of pence. So it's like, I don't know if you left somebody out of the situation or they left you out, and, and it's like they're lonely. 
they feel like somebody is no longer holding on to them. So somebody feels pressured to make a decision here. And I think they're just sitting around like, ah, like, mm, there's not a problem. Something needs to be addressed. Yeah, somebody left somebody out of a situation. And it's like, it's like, I don't know if it's the other energy that's, that's lonely holding on to something, you know, with the high priestess keeping it a secret. But it is, it's like, they're slowly letting go of it. Like, they're starting to realize that there's, you know, that they were just pretending that there, there wasn't a problem when there, there truly was a problem. So hopefully it gets dressed the right way, addressed the right way. Okay, because there's a lot of love here. Okay, so, um... Tell me about this toy air real quick. <clears throat> Three air. All right, time to heal. I need to forgive yourself and others. Yeah, you, whatever the two you went through was deep. Deep, 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 deep. Okay. Um, it, it's like you know this person for damn sure. It, it's like you let each other down. It's like you both were lonely. The, we got one energy that's definitely regretting situations and they're upset that the passion is gone. And, um, just upset. Okay. Major, major lessons, but this is, this is universal. I don't know if they got a fear that you met someone new or they're fearing that you might meet someone new if they don't make moves, if they don't, you know, if, if they don't hit you up. Yeah. Like, yeah. If they don't make moves, you know what I mean? Like I can lose this person. It, it's something like that. And you could have just met somebody new, you know, it's, all I know is that you guys definitely know each other. It's like you're starting to talk again and the feminine is more worried about, can I trust the situation? You know, can I open my heart to this person that apparently heard it at one point? But like the, the masculine's like, they're wearing the hat on the sleeve. Like they're going to tell you about something and, and, and they're confronting karma. And I'm telling you, it's not easy for this person to do this either. And it's like, they're trying to stay as optimistic as they can. All right. Good luck. Good luck, troops. I love you guys. Bye. But listen, as the Libra energy, too, make sure, you know, as carefully, make sure you're getting the truth. Make sure you're getting the truth. Nothing gets swept under the rug. Okay? It's like, because something doesn't want to talk about something. And the truth needs to come out about something. So make sure you cross your T's and dot your I's. You know, especially if your intuition's telling you something. Compassion is needed between the two of you. So you would know who that situationship was for. I love you guys. Bye.